Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Marvel's Midnight Suns. I do hope we haven't already now, I'm, I've been trying to play with the sound a little bit to ensure there's a balance between my voice and also the character's voices and background music. So please let me know if it's too loud or too soft. I think episode 1, when I watched it a little bit again, it was a bit too soft. So let me know how you go and what you think. About time. Not just about time. Mr. Brooks, time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly. Yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is... not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... Well, I'll just let her show you. I realize that the background music is much louder than the voice, the character's voices. Anyway, we'll see how we go. That was pretty cool. You're standing in limbo. Nexus of all realities, both real or otherwise. A chaotic but secret realm beyond the influence of Lilith. The far. Are you certain of that? Because I am sensing all kinds of... Dark energy. That feeling you're being watched. General Hellho vibe. Yes. All these potentialities converging at once? A truly surprising feat, Miss Rasputin. For someone so young, of course. You think this is crazy? Wait until you see Manhattan. From here, magic can open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet and beyond. We don't want to risk punching through the wards protecting your sanctum, Doctor. So we've chosen a safe exit a few blocks over instead. Still pretty cool so far. Gameplay tip. Heroes you take on a mission are the ones most likely to be available for a hangout that night. Is a hangout? Cool. Here we are, Manhattan. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that civilian's dialogue. At least we know the wards of protection are still in place. For now. I suggest we hurry. Arm Alpha in position! Dude looks like Robocop. I like Blade's voice. Defeat all enemies to complete the encounter. 
I hesitate to call this good news, but I'm seeing minimal hydro resistance between okay. you and the Sanctum. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the wards of protection. Okay. Uh, oh, what's the difference? So, these ones, you can chuck a stack of newspapers at him. This one, I'm not too sure. Conduit? Maybe it's for a... Wait... So we have Blade, we have myself, um, Hunter, I guess. We do get to rename ourselves, I guess not. We get two redraws, one moves and three card plays. So what do we have? Heal, Strike, I want to try this, Chain twice, Heroism, Forceful Knockback in any direction, discard a random card, Knockback, um, and Attack. So we got two Knockbacks. I am gonna redraw. Okay. I'm gonna redraw this. No. I'm gonna redraw this one. I think. No, I'll draw heal for now. Okay, what do we get? Uh, so you get another whip. Okay. Not many options. Fine. Uh, I'll save the other redraw for now. Let's go. Let's try this one. Slash. Uh. Not useful, right? Because... Oh, we can't. We can't hit him. Oh, we can't hit him against this. Electrocute him. Ah, okay. That's what it's for. Let's electrocute him. Stunned. Never seen that before. When a unit is stunned, they will not act on their turn. If a stun unit takes damage, they will be reawakened immediately. Okay. So, basically, don't touch him. want to stun him too, right? So we'll just get tutorial. Attacks with a keyword quick will refund the card play when used to KO an enemy. Use quick cards on minions for guaranteed KO and refund. Refund. Okay. Um, but, so he has health. He doesn't. I can't get a knockback and KO, can I? Oh wait, against that pole probably. Let's see. We get a refund and we get this back, right? Do we get the card back or do we get one more turn? Card play refund it. Okay, so we get okay. We get the card back. Cool. Cool. I like that. I like that. Now if we go here. We can do another. We can get him here. Next. That's an exaggerated movement. Even the mother of demons is forced Once a hero uses move, they can continue to use, reuse move to reposition themselves until any hero uses an ability. Okay. Okay, I can keep moving, basically, until I'm happy with where I am. Okay. Um, I'll just use... Oh wait, I don't get it back! No! I thought he had... Not back. You know, let's try to redraw. Let's redraw the whip. What do you get? Nope. No such luck. Knock back. Hmm. I wanted to use quick again. Oh well. Um. So, let's try... So we get a chain. What does that do? So chain him and him. Ah, okay. Chain twice. Let's try that. Come on. Ah, uh, cool, cool. Hey, I like that better. These fanatics are always the same. Um. So, you have how much life? You have forty. Four heroism. Hmm. Let's just get rid of this guy. I think he should die. Ko. Okay. Cool. I'm happy with that. Because then there's only one left. Well, kind of. Kind of. There's another guy here. We will not fail. End turn. No retreat. Get reinforcements. Ouch. Ouch. That hurts. Reinforcements incoming. More of them dropping in. Two of them. Are they minions? 
Done removed. Cool. That so that spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not minion. a thing. Okay. Gemma or not, I feel the hand of my mother at work here. Uh so this one's quick. So we kill He no, he won't die. But he will die. All right. He will die. So we can use quick. Time we get it back. Leave. KO. Impressive. Car play refund it. Good. Um Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's do a knockback. Critical abilities. All damage dealing hero abilities have a chance to become critical when they are drawn. Critical abilities deal da increased damage. The chance for an ability to be critical is determined by a hero's critical chance stat. The bonus damage dealt by a critical ability is determined by a hero's critical damage stat. Okay. Wait, how do I know it's critical? I'm confused. Be is it because it's on fire? Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna try everything. Um, yeah, we'll knock him against him. Why not? Okay, KO. We've got heroism. We've got a stake. Ooh, lifesteal. Mm, mm. Two cards. I don't want to use heroic yet. Let's just get blade. Okay, almost half his life. Okay, too bad he didn't die. Okay, uh, we can redraw twice, so we don't need heroic cards, because we don't have enough. Make them bleed. What's that again? Draw one card and the next two damage cards apply bleed. Hmm. No, don't need this. Let's redraw that as well. Let's even get a damage one. Lifesteal. Ah, no. We just use heal by myself. Cool. This shall be a great help. Um, 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 um. Okay, end turn. Sorry, I'm still getting used to this game. Six. That whip reminds me of in Iron Man 2. What's his name? Whiplash. Was it Whiplash? Blessing of the Vishanti. Give hero cards in your hand, plus five damage until played or discarded. Concentrate. We'll do a quick. And I won't be doing Get rid of this guy first. Weak, even for Hydra. Um, I wonder if you finish the game, do you heal? We'll see. Knock back, quick. Uh, life steal. We just use this. Okay. Robocop. Misguided as they are, remember, Hydra is still human, Hunter. Not Lillian. Saying the lifeblood of the mother pumps through our veins. The mother is eternal. Hydra is eternal. On a bed.
Commissioner is not going to like this. No. I'll handle it. Or... Not? We do not fear your magic, little wizard. We have answered the Mother's call. We are venom to all who oppose her. And you are lies. Wait, that's venom? Defeat Fallen- Ah, he's a Fallen Venom to complete the mission. Fallen Venom symbiote binds and can be broken by attacking them with hero abilities. Okay. Powerful enemies like Fallen Venom do not forecast which hero they intend to attack, and may attack multiple times on their turn. Watch out, okay? Well, that's cool. Quickly. Do I even want to know what that beast is? It calls itself Venom. Until now, a pale imitation of a very heroic young friend of mine. We will feed your ugly tongue to the spider Okay, wizard. so two minions. Marinate it in his stomach juices okay. and eat it with his spleen. So what we'll do, we've got... Mm, 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 mm. This is a knockback quick, we've got two knockback quicks. So why don't we... Actually, just need one, right? Let's go. Let's knock him into him. Oh wait, will that damage everyone? Let me try. Prepare yourselves. Okay, cool. That was good. I like that. Move like that once, centuries ago. Um. I don't understand this one. There's a two. So you need two heroic points to use that. I'm guessing. Let's try quick slash. Level up. Like old times. Huh? Level two, plus six health, two offense. Okay. Now can we use this? Slide. Ah, we can push it. Gotcha. Okay. Um. What if we use? Blade to push it. I'm gonna go here. Yeah. And then what do we slide it? Look, that way? Just gotta try it. Yeah. Can we hit him against that thing? It's on. Oh no, he didn't hit. There's only ten. Hero cards. I've only got one hero card, right? Mm. Yeah, let's try this one. Confirm. So we draw one of Blade's cards. And he levels up too. Strong today. Cool. Attack. Apply. Two bleed. So we could use it straight away. It's not a hero card. Can we attack him twice? What? One. Oh, just like that. Fallen Venom Symbiote Skin. Melee attacks against Fallen Venom can trigger his join up passive and activate Symbiote Skin. When Symbiote Skin is active, Fallen Venom will bind the next hero that melee attacks him. After trading some red skin, use range or your attacks to reset. Okay, so I can't. Okay, cool, gotcha. I can't melee attack. End turn. We good. Look how fragile you are. For a moment. Cannot break its hold. Pain only makes us hungrier. Okay, so he's bleeding at least. 
Heroes bound and unable to act. Use other hero abilities to damage the binding and free them. Bindings will be removed with any damage, similar to minions. Cool. This house belongs to Mother now. As you belong to us. Okay. We shall start with your juicy entrails. Then slowly savor your delicious brains. Um, On the rest of your mother's children, so chatty. Are you also chatty? I'm trying to read this out loud. Thankfully, the tutorial. No. Enemy area attacks will go off at the end of the of the turn. Use move or an ability to move. Any nearby heroes to safety, not enemies into the area attack to turn the tables on your foes. Right. So if I use blade, um, but can I move here? Okay, I can move here. And if I use any quick attacks. Wow, why are there so many blessing? Okay, there are two blessings of Vijanti. Okay, so I feel like Doctor Strange is more of a buff and support character than anything else. Let's do this. Huh? Oh, I hit the wrong one. Oh well, we got the got it back, and he's out of range. That's fine. Um. Hmm. Okay, if I attack him first, so I've got three cards still. If I use this, let's use this first. Confirm, yes. So his hero attack skill, this one should be okay. It's enhanced now. And I have two cards left, so if I hit him first... Prepare. 35, not a lot. Okay, now he's too close. Level up, which is good. Um, but he's within range of, of Venom's whatever he's going to do. So I think... Uh, I'm gonna redraw this one. Hopefully, I get something knocked back. Okay, good, good. I get knocked back. Uh, wait, not good enough though. Yeah, no, he's gonna get hit. What? Let's let's change this too. Let's redraw that one. What do we get? Ah, blessing of Vijanti. I was actually hoping to move him away, because, like, get nearer to this guy, but I just realized that was a mistake. Um, because he would only move if he needs to get closer to the enemy. Maybe you should teach me that one. Can't play refunded. Um, yeah, let's do this. Let's start with four card plays next. That's pretty cool. Okay, uh, Doctor Strange is in trouble. Ouch. Four, and he's bleeding. Ouch. Woo! That hurt, dude. Why does he have a green card over his head? Okay. Good. Twelve. One card play. Ah, okay, is that why it was green? We may not be ready for this thing yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. I can probably almost kill him. Yeah, let's do this. Hold on, before that, cancel. Uh, so fill your belly with my blade, dear. I think we can up this even more. If we get it to 6, this becomes 42, right? So let's try this. Confirm. Let's increase the damage of the hero card. 42. And we should... Oh, close. Close. Try right, Let's give this a go. Okay. 
Two. Some that skin. Fine. Two left. Hold on. We can we can damage him, can't we? Oh yeah. Um let's try this. Single target. Overkill. Okay. He, he's dead. Venom, you dead? I'm still stuck. No escape from me, demon. But you were stuck. Hold up. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. It's a trap, it's a trap. Oh, Spider-Man! I was in the neighborhood, you know, being friendly. Seemed like you folks could use a hand, Doc. <laughs> Spider-Man! Jeez, Eddie, what happened to you? That's part of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but... Whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. We will rip your face off and suck the pearl from your bones! Always nice to see you too, buddy. So, I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? <laughs> Don't worry, Doc. That's just his way of saying he cares! <laughs> Cool! That was cool. That was a good introduction to Spider-Man. Though I've always wondered, if Spider-Man lived in a town and there were no high-rise buildings, how would he swing around? Probably not very well. All this is gloss bonus. 150 gloss. Uh, it's locked, so I gotta use that. So you can choose your difficulty. So if I choose this... No, I can't choose it. I was just wanting to play around. Oh, wait, you can. So if I select this... Hmm? Oh, you can keep changing after you've finished one part, I guess, or, or, or one section. Another gameplay tip. Build Doctor Strange's Book of Vigilante upgrade to enable ability crafting in the forge. Build the upgrade to enable ability crafting in the forge. I guess I'll come across it. Still quite early in the game. So it's, I'm still liking it so far. Um, combination of a little bit of open world, kind of a little bit, and card playing. Congratulations. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall... I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Uh, of course! I see it now. The look! Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... Than the Sanctum? Or Wanda. She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. Isn't that like we'll talk more later? Venom's symbiote. Get some rest. Remnants on 
my clothing. Can't even infect me. I gotta get new friendship. Cool, cool. Talk to Tony. Not to be the nagging old lady, but I told you. Mm. So if I move straight, and I don't move my mouse too much, I won't get too sick. That was a Let's see. Fiasco. Hopefully I don't end this series because I'm too- get motion sick. Hello, Tony. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there. With a little help. Uh, get where? And where exactly am I going? Oh, that's the real question, isn't it? Sky's the limit for you, my friend. <laughs> Unless you'd be up for wearing a space helmet. You do breathe air, don't you? You know what? It doesn't matter. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. He seems to talk quite fast, this Iron Man. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. Oh, red ink? I assure you, there is nothing to fear here. Well, it's easy to say not to be scared of things that go bump in the night when you are a thing that goes bump in the night. I don't even watch horror movies, and now I'm living in one. Horror movies? Oh, you'll love them. Imagine a painting come to life. Moving, talking, telling a story, one that just happens to be pulled from your very worst nightmare. Or just stop by my room. Fairly certain there's one hanging there already. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. Okay. Got a present. Iron Man knew here available. He's available. So, what is... What did he say is a red ink quill? Let me adjust the sensitivity of my mouse uh, in this game. Uh, that's controller. I'm not using controller. I'm using a mouse. Let's just check this it's a bit too quick for me and therefore not very smooth i don't think you want me to vomit while i'm recording this so let's hope that it's a bit better a little bit better okay hi i'm tony stark but if you're hearing this message you already know that when i'm not saving the world i solve the world's problems with technological means like the one you're holding i call it the spark a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual. Private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man Rule. He's very chatty. Superlink. Superlink is your connection to the rest of your team and social network just for superheroes. Check Superlinks frequently for updates from other heroes in the Abbey. Okay, first post. Okay, so it reminds me a little bit of um, Digimon as well. They kind of have this uh, space where it's kind of trying to create like a social network within the game. Not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, but not something I would focus on. Unless there are tips and hints here. First we make one to leave, now we leave her to die. Some heroes assure you that, that this is not the case. She was sent to you for protection. I see how that worked, Supreme Sorcerer. Or Dr. Spooky, as Iron Man calls him. We both know it was more complicated than that, Miss Rasputin. 
I took Wanda as my apprentice for a reason, have faith she can handle herself. Strange. Did everything he could to get to Wanda. So did I, and the hunter. Take a breath, Ileana. We'll get her back soon enough. Wanda should be here with us. Of that, I'm in agreement. Now, I'm not going to try to voice play or, or do some voice acting to pretend who I am with each of these characters. I only have one voice at the moment. Okay, so, gallery. Interesting photo. So it's kind of like an achievement thing. 15, 59 June? I wonder if that changes. June. I am playing it in the month of June. Hmm. Keys. You need arcane keys? Okay. Let's just not overextend. Explore my room. It's a nice fireplace. Oops, sorry. That's me scrolling. Because I keep thinking we can zoom out. We were all so happy then. Agatha and Sarah with Hound. 1710. That's like 300 years old, at least. Faded journal page. Aunt Sarah wants me to practice my letters, and so here I am. But every time I dip this pen in ink, I just want more and more to go out beyond the yard into my secret spots. I left my dolls scattered about before the storm, and I'm afraid they'll hurt. They're hurt. Do dolls hold grudges? Akavis says they don't, but I still feel sad for them. Hmm. My old journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. Okay. For special rewards? Cool. Uh, what's under this cloth? Wait, I have a dog? A cat? That's like a doggy bed. Maybe you'll jump out from this closet. There was never enough room for my armor in this thing. Okay, so it's a new outfit. You use gloss to purchase new outfit. That's not too bad. That's cool too. I uh, know. Mm, obviously, the more expensive one's nicer. This one's not bad. Let's try this. Okay, sleek. So go to sleep. Do I have to sleep? Okay. This is absolutely weird. Okay, now it looks better. I am very curious about the color. There's my dog. Charlie! I know, I know. I, I missed you too. Let her enjoy the moment. She's been visiting your door every morning for the past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I am sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. Yeah, you get to see the forge. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. 
I wonder if that Agatha is the same. Okay, so Superling is something. All night. I should have known something was wrong. Um, yeah, it's, it's the same Agatha now, as... Wait, I'm hitting F. Now ask me to hit F to look at the I post. Superlink. Um, okay. Astounding Spider-Man. Like, I agree. Oh, Carol Danvers. Uh, okay. We read that before. Close that. Yeah. That's fine. I'm not really going to read these too much. Um, it, it's, it's nice to have, but that's not my focus. But as I was saying, I wonder if that Ag Agatha is the same one um, that confronts Scarlet Witch and tries to steal her power in Wanda, the television series called Wanda. Okay, we gotta go to the forge, so we are here, we turn right. Right. Good day, Hunter. Good day. Ooh, is that a DVD player? No, wait, is that PlayStation? Paper candle. What can I do with that? Ooh, I can steal? Attack essence. Okay, I can grab stuff. Oh, I really wish I could... Field of vision could be a bit narrower. Let me see. It's a bit too close for me. Um, camera shake. No. Graphics? Uh, nope. Yeah? Nope. Controls? Can we zoom out? Menus? Tactical? Rotate. Camera. Strategy. Oh man, I can't zoom out. Okay. Oh well. It is what it is. We are going to the forge. Ooh. Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell, preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The Forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing... Mm, yes, speaking of... Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the Venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two are such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. <laughs> Perhaps you should just try it on. I like the humor. I always like Marvel's humor. Not bad. Though I wish it was nanotech. Use the cloak. I could only use a cloak if it's sentient, Doctor Strange, Stylish, like yours. Indestructible, and we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. Okay, we got this. One of many suits. You think everything could benefit from a cloak? So looks like it doesn't have nanotech yet. Nova rises up. The starry night sky, surrounded by stars that represent the support of his team. This card symbolizes serenity and hope for the future. Cool. It was a tarot card. Oh, is that another tarot card? The moon. A oh, moon knight. Moon knight hides its true identity behind his cloak and shadow. This card represents deception, but also creativity and the unconscious. Credits. Okay, this kind of cloak I want. Stranger's cape. Um, what about this? What's this? 
Oops. Can't get into position. Orb of Agamotto. Strangest Orb of Agamotto, one of the few artifacts recovered from the Sanctum Sanctorum. A powerful energy emanates from the inside as the orb seems to rotate indefinitely. It's like a little planet on its own. A bit of gloss. Okay, we got nothing else. Let's talk. Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you holding up on the inside? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and well, after your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? Hmm. I didn't even know Hippocrates, that's how you pronounce it. I would have pronounced it as Hippocrates, but then it sounded like hypocrite. So, he's probably right. Um, things are irrelevant. I have a job to do, for, like I woke up on the wrong side of the grave. I'm honestly more worried about you. No, I have a job do to do. not awaken me to discuss feelings, Doctor. I'm ready to do what I must. Ah, yes, you mean complete your prophesied destiny and bring about the destruction of your mother? I know some psychiatry professors at my alma mater that would love to talk with you. How you feel is just as important to me as your mission, Hunter. The two are innately interconnected, more than you know. I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100% again after the events of yesterday. I still can't believe what transpired, the sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost, swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. With all my resources, all my gifts, I should have seen this outcome spelled out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago. But I miscalculated. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna try to aim to get better relationships with everyone, so I'm not always gonna choose a response that I guess I would like. So let's just say don't blame yourself and let's see if that makes it better. Lilith's power has placed a dark shroud over us all, Doctor. You are not alone in this. Your words are appreciated. Still, I must not allow the underlying truth of the situation to become shrouded as well. It's not just the Sanctum Sanctorum that was lost yesterday, it was my protege, Wanda. She was, is, my charge, my responsibility, and I failed her. But I am determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter, which is why I am here to answer any questions you may have. Perhaps my wisdom may benefit you more than it has me thus far. Okay, um... I mean, I know what Venom is, I just don't know what Fallen Venom is. Um, Ward of Protection, let's find out Tell more about, me about that. your Sanctum's Wards of Protection. I have never heard of a protection spell that powerful. In your time, I'm sure you encountered a variety of minor wards and protective spells. The Sanctum Sanctorum was shielded by one such incantation, but greatly amplified by the convergence of ley lines. Hmm, okay. Remind me about ley lines? Ley lines? Often dismissed as pseudoscience in the modern day, ley lines actually represent the convergence of magical energies formed within the Earth itself. Ancient civilizations built their temples along these lines, tapping into the power flowing through them. Two such lines converge at the Sanctum's location. Needless to say, the wards benefit greatly. See. Um, let's just go through all the dialogue on the roof. You have run into it before. Unfortunately, yes. In the simplest of terms, Venom is an alien species living in symbiosis with a human known as Eddie Brock. He's something of a fixture in New York these days, but typically his hijinks are confined to harassing Spider-Man. 
My mother has a gift for bringing out the worst in people. Yes, and in this case, I happen to be the direct victim of her ambition. I fear the sanctum may never be the same. Okay, that's no more Wanda. Wanda come into your care? Wanda's story is quite tragic and perhaps not mine to tell. There was an accident on the Abbey grounds not long ago involving Agatha. Okay. That must have been some accident. Agatha had been teaching Wanda, hoping she would learn to control her immense but very raw power. As their training progressed, Wanda was encouraged to push herself further. Eventually, she pushed too far. Hmm. How did Wanda come into your care? Wanda's story is... I'm just trying it because there are other options. Perhaps not mine to tell. Let me just see if I can skip through this. Ah, uh, okay. Agatha. I feel like everyone is avoiding mention of Agatha. I can't say I'm surprised, but I'm afraid it's really not my place. You should speak to Sarah about her when you're ready. Okay, nothing seems to be your place to say. Let us I'll be talk going. Later. Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. So one thing I was curious about. They seem pretty sad. Or Sarah seemed pretty sad that he died and sacrificed himself, but they didn't seem to have much trouble uh, resurrecting him. So no demons to report here, boss. Interesting. I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? Hmm. Thanks, appreciate the effort. It is nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. It was this close to making it menthol flavored. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. Yeah, what's so special? I take it this new version is a technological marvel? Impact-resistant carbon composites, some patent-pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built-in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. Um... <laughs> I think the insult means the raven. Let's try that. I may be a few hundred years behind, but I know that tone. Oh, you are a sharp one. But no, I'm insulting the situation. Okay, um, so let me, s I want to know what this room is for now. What sort of things are you doing in here? Oh, that's right. You were out a while. Basically, we've got a gigantic demon inside the magic box here that provides near limitless power for whatever we might need. Sounds insane, but sometimes it's easier to just go with it. Cool. Uh, sounds amazing. I I'm impressed with your resourcefulness. From where you're standing, I can see that. Still, I doubt I'll be branding one of these with the Stark Industries logo anytime soon. Cool. Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things, remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek, and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there, and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. So I shall meet you at the anvil. Here. Okay, that's not far. Uh, gamma coil analysis. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye old demon hunting school, so I'm just gonna give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They're using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. 
Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? Hey, Hunter. Okay, so analyzing gamma coils. Only Stark can use the coil material like recovered in combat to create hero point. abilities. Only one of the abilities on offer can be selected. Oh, okay, so choose wisely. So we choose Hunter. Hmm? Wait. Analyze coil? Review new think? abilities. Okay. Restore 36 health. It used to be 30. So, what does this mean? Left shift, hero deck? Are you on two? Ah, I've just select one. Strike whip heal. How long did you say you were exposed to this thing? Eh, it's probably fine. Um, okay. So what do I do? Select one? Let me say chain. Um Strike. We have strike, so confirm. We'll take Hunter, that. When you have a minute, come meet me in the yard. Go, go to the yard. Go, go to the yard. Anything else I can find before I go to the yard? I don't think so. Where is the yard anyway? Okay. To the right. No, right here. Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? Uh, no questions. None. All right then. Upgrade an ability. This looks like King Arthur's sword. Maybe it is. Nice to get some fresh air. Hardly any cobwebs or ghosts out here. So, Volt Training. Volting deals increased damage in combat, okay. Let's do this. Practice makes perfect. So, Blade? Hold on. So, currently... You can chain 3. We upgraded the ability. Hmm? Later. But I can still talk to you. Hunter. What's up? Uh, oh, okay, so if there's still dialogue. Can I ask about you? I guess. How did you become a Dampir? You say that like I had a choice. I was born this way. How is that possible? A vampire bit my mother. Probably don't know if that's how it always is, but that's the way it went down for me. Sorry, I accidentally right-clicked, so that's why it skipped. Ah, uh, okay. Thanks, Blade. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. So. Ooh. What's shaking? That's too light. Denver's. Like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. Uh, you can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding. Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie. Going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the Sanctum. Mm. Every lock has its key. 
True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the Funky Bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking, but then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. Just how far are you willing to go, Captain? Let's just say that I'm willing to unleash the power of a quantum singularity white hole on them, if need be. A uh, quantum... what? You'll see. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. Welcome back. Cal Danvers. Okay, Captain Marvel is now available. Why, hello, Hunter. Hello. How do we... Uh, can we talk? Can we talk? Let's have a quick chat. Yes? Oh, it's just a random talk. Are we... <laughs> hey. So everyone, I'm just babysitting my friend's dog and he decided to just start barking randomly. So apologies for that bark. Hi, hi, Hunter. Okay, so I think. Ooh, you can play in the pool. Let's keep going. Nothing to the is certain war these room. days, but these readings are too distinct to ignore. The gamma. Ow. The gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is impossible. If the gamma signature from the sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just Sorry, still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? <sighs> we should be able to track this new gamma signature to its source then, right? I do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chunk. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. I heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey. Come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. The creepy abandoned warehouse. In the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. Find me when you're ready. Okay. Multi-million dollar piece of experimental technology, and she kicks it. We are in the war room. Okay, gotcha. Just trying to remember. Oh wait. So the mission table is right here. So I think it's actually a good place to end, because ooh, another journal. Yep. A coven of witches from across the sea has sent for our help. I regret that I cannot do more, but Lilith and I are stretched to our limits. I've sent the Moon Seal to their home in Salem by way of the Knights of Wundagore. I have no doubt this will take care of the troubles they face. Okay, cool. So as I was saying, I think this is probably a good place to stop for this episode. We will come back and select the mission. Let's see what mission that is. Is it a story mission? Yes, it's a story mission. We'll get Gamma Coil and we'll get an artifact, apparently. Um, and then we'll keep progressing with the story. And we'll see where this game takes us. So thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.